It's amazing how our homes work, how many functions there is within the lighting, home appliances, electric oven, blender, our TVs. Everything is working so organized, efficient and accurate. But what allows it all to work so well? Mm. Let's go see. The wires that have electricity running through them are not controlled individually through to a control panel. How is it our body is so perfect with accurate functions in its system, respiratory, digestive, circulatory, metabolism, and more. Why can't we feel, perceive, and think? What? Do we have wires in our body? Keep calm. Let me explain you. All of it is thanks to our nervous system, divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is composed of the spinal cord and the brain with more than 80 billion of neurons, while the peripheral nervous connects the central nervous system to the limbs and organs and work as a messenger from the body and sensory systems to the brain. Communication is by neurons, nerve cells with different shapes and functions, like humans. However, they all have the same main features. So might as well body containing the organelles and drives like here to protect them and make faster, which also allows them to communicate with presynaptic neurons and the axon which allows it to communicate to its neuron friends postsynaptic. Neurons are very friendly, they love communicating by making synapses and sending messengers called neurotransmitters like dopamine and acetylcholine. Their secret is that they don't need to connect physically because the neurotransmitters can travel through a space between them called the synaptic cloud. How does information travel to neurons? It's by the action potential in the axon. Neurons have ions with the charges like sodium and potassium that are different outside and inside. Changes in their concentration generates an electrical wave allowing the passage of neurotransmitters. Substantia neura, an area of the brain that controls movement, is dying due to hereditary factors or a specific genetic mutation. It doesn't allow the neurons to release dopamine, which regulates the inhibitory pathway, producing tremor, stiffness, and steady walk. But no worries, because scientists and technologists have been help patients with bioelectricity. Because, and as in our houses, we need some help repairing broken connections to get electricity up and running again. This is known as a deep brain stimulation that uses a brain implanted device operated by a neurostimulator battery. This sends electrical signals to specific areas of the brain responsible for movement and stability. So simple. Deep brain stimulation and new bioelectrical techniques might be the solution of many diseases in the future. Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, thyroid, or a prevention of aneurysms, strokes, and more. Because you know, Time is changing, cures and treatments are coming, it's time to make connections.